I'm Denise. Hi, I'm Carol. And we're going to show you the chemistry behind rock candy. Let's, Let's get, get rocking! Rock candy is a simple sugar recipe that can double as a science experiment. Chani will be explaining the chemistry behind it while I'll make the recipe. Let's get started. Here are all the ingredients you will need to make the raw candy. One cup of water, two cups of granulated sugar, a glass jar, and a binder clip. Flavoring and food coloring. And skewers. First, take your skewer and run it through hot water on the areas where the raw candy is supposed to be. Next, take a spoonful of sugar and place it on a paper towel. Now, roll the wet skewer on the sugar. This will allow the solution to stick onto the skewer. Place your skewer on the sugar and begin working on the solution. First, turn on the heat. Pour the cup of water into the pan. Watch the water carefully as it turns into a boil. Once it has started boiling, take the two cups of sugar and carefully pour it into the pan of boiling water. And begin to stir constantly. Here you are making a solution where the sugar is the solute and water is the solvent. At room temperature, this is the amount that the water can take. When you heat the solution, you are increasing the temperature of it. This also increases the amount of sugar that the solution can hold. With the temperature up, the particles are moving much faster, meaning more of the sugar will be dissolved at this temperature. At this point, your solution should start looking like this. Stir the solution until all the sugar has dissolved. The liquid will be clear or straw colored without any sparkly sugar. If you can get even more sugar to dissolve, that's good too. Now, Take your desired food flavoring and add a few drops. Next, take your favorite food coloring and add two drops. Keep stirring until all the colors have been mixed. Your solutions should start looking like this. After a few minutes, stop stirring and turn off the heat. Slowly pour the solution into the jar. Be careful, the solution is hot. Got to leave here before I go. I pull my shirt on, walk out the door, drag my feet along the floor. I pull my shirt on, walk out the door.
drag my feet along the floor Then I see you, you're walking across the campus Cool professor studying romances Take the skewers and carefully clip it on to the end of the binder. Let it hang on to the jar. Be careful, the jar is hot. You want the liquid to be about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, slightly cooler than room temperature. The solution will cool down so that the motion of the particles ceases. If this happens, then it will be less likely to dissolve all the sugar you need for the crystallization process. At this point, we have created a super saturated solution. In the very beginning, at room temperature, there is a specific amount of sugar that could be handled. When we heated it and added more sugar, we increased its intake because at that temperature it could handle more solute. When the solution cools, the solubility of sugar in the water drops. There will be more sugar dissolved than can remain in the solution. The sugar will then begin to form solid crystals in the solution. Sugar will crystallize on the string, forming rock candy. Now that you've learned the science behind rock candy, try making it at your own house. Thanks for watching! That was actually really good. <laughs>